Welcome to another video from Dr. Lock. What we have here is a coin operated lock and these are used on trolleys. There was a trolley at a building site I was on and it got squashed by a forklift and the whole thing was going in the bin. So I thought why not um, why not grab the lock off and have a look. Luckily I had some of these uh, torque screws, these ones here. I had this in my toolbox actually because I couldn't find my Allen key and it actually happened to be the right one. So I was able just to undo it and remove it and the trolley's going in the bin. So this screw here right here stops the actual lock from rotating around. So this one here just holds it in place. Once that one's off, then you've got two screws on the bottom and then you can kind of access the bottom. Now I've never worked on one of these before. So what I thought I'd do is I thought I would pull it apart with you and we will find out how this one ticks. Because a lot of the times, I think we've all been in the in the shopping center and we've wanted a trolley and we don't have that coin and we all end up trying to jam a, jam a key in there or something we've got to try and get it to activate or try and get it to release and with no luck so I was hoping to open it up and find out what makes it tick and where the sweet spot is so this one here has a key formation of this so you can see it there it's like a, an S shape type thing and if I was to push that in right now it would lock in not allowing the key to come back out and release my coin and the good thing about this is I get a dollar for doing it. Look at that. It even came with a dollar. So that's pretty cool. Somebody was too lazy to t take it back and said, uh, don't worry about the dollar. So I'm just going to use my torque screw here. I didn't actually find uh, the right screwdriver. So just bear with me here and I'll quickly uh, get these out here. Now that that struggle is over, let's uh, let's pop it open. And let's see what's actually in this. Where's a little screwdriver? Yep, here's one. Let's see what's in this. Okay, so it looks like it does not want to come out too easily. Something is still holding it in there. Is it the coin? Is it the plastic? Aha. Okay, so a little bit of a, is that a leaf or a bit of a twig or something's in there? I don't know how that got in there, but that got in there. Okay, so now let's have a look. So this is our key section right here, this shape right here. And that actually slides in through this back case here, like so. Okay, so you have your dollar in there, you're going to push in the key into this section here, and you're going to push it all the way back. These two arms here are spring-loaded, so first of all, when you push this in, this part right here gets rotated backwards, and when that gets rotated backwards, these two arms are able to be pushed in. When that happens, uh, they allow this coin, because they have like a V section over here, there's a V section here, so that allows it, the V to actually move on a bit of an angle, allowing just enough for that dollar to be removed. Okay, and in return, when you put the dollar back in, you put the dollar in, and then you need to push the whole sort of carriage forwards, sorry, the coin forwards, this allowing the two side arms to loosen and allowing this front bar to rotate so that you can, dis, uh, so you can disconnect. Okay, so here's the question. Is there a sweet spot so I can get my dollar out so I don't have to return the trolley? That's what we want to find out. Okay, so now we've had a look at the mechanism inside. How do we defeat it? So I've looked around the workshop and trying, trying to find practical things that everybody kind of has uh, so we can actually defeat it. So let's look at it now. Let's look at it in um, the open position right now. So you'd go along and you'd put your dollar in and the dollar's in. One of the things I found which worked quite well was this little tool here. And this is just something we get from knob sets to remove the knob. Comes with all the commercial grade uh, lever and knob sets. It's just a little tool and it's just got a little bend in the end. And uh, what I found is that um, that works quite well. Just push it. Just go in there and push it. And I can now take my dollar out. Nice and simple. Okay, so let's look at this from, well, that's how we defeat it on that side. So we don't actually have to go return our, to our trolley. So you can leave your trolley everywhere and take your dollar back. It's a bit nasty on the shop owners, but anyway, now let's look at it from another perspective where it's actually locked in. 
Uh, is that locked? Let's push it back. Okay, so we lock it in, take our dollar. So this is a situation where it is um, in the shops and now we want to take a trolley, but oh, we forgot to bring our dollar coin. What do we do? The only thing I found um, that, you know, why did that come out? The only thing I found practical, let's do that one, make sure it's locked all the way in. Locked in, I can take my guy out. Trolley's locked. The only thing I found practical that seems to work quite well is just a key blank. You know, I've got a couple of million of them, so let's give that a go. So everyone loves to shove keys and things and, you know, use them as screwdrivers and things. So let's see if that can work. Ah, and it does. Let's try that again. All right, that's definitely locked in. Take my key blank, uh, standard lockwood shape head key blank, give it a jiggle and away we go. So, defeated. Defeated with a key blank and defeated with a little piece of wire, which is pretty cool. Okay, so I've gone around the workshop and, you know, I can't think of anything common that everybody would have to be able to get their dollar back out or to defeat this lock. So the only thing I could come up with was um, just a key ring, really. I mean, a, a key ring doesn't take two seconds. A little bit of straightening wouldn't hurt. Let's just straighten this a little bit. There we go. Okay, so that's what I've made. Made a little question mark. Questionable tool. Let's just see how that works now. Ah, there we go. And here we go. Hopefully springs and things won't go flying. That's, that's the problem. The actual mechanism's not being housed, so there's that chance it can go flying. Okay, and away we go. We get our dollar back. Okay, if you have any questions, don't email, because I know nothing about this. I'm just playing around with it. If you've got any comments, feel free to comment. If you want to like and share, do that as well. And thanks for watching.